So let's go ahead and debug this test. And as always, we can later go back and add a unit test for that method that we just added, the switch tabs method, which will help us to validate that our code is working. Right click again, uh, debug tests. Oh, duh, I'm inside of the is add method, debug tests. Oh crap, I think I messed up the test by moving around the window. So let's rerun it again, debug tests. Awesome, it opens. And so now we're at the switch tabs method. So what I'm going to do is step over this. And now you guys will get to see this web driver that window handles collection. So first of all, there's two of them. And if you look inside of these windows, you guys can see window zero and window one, right? This is a collection. So it obviously starts at zero, which was why I made my index start at zero. So it's a collection and we can access the collection using the square brackets and the value that we want. And so we passed in this tab index of one. And so it's going to select the second window. Okay. And actually you guys can see this when we do F10 to step over. So that's fine. We switch tabs and now if everything works successfully, we should be able to locate our element, which we did without any problem. And so now our test was successful. Let, let it finish running. And then you guys will see how it becomes a green check mark. Fantastic. You guys see this green check mark over here, test passed. How awesome is that? So now we were able to switch tabs successfully. So let me close it. So now let's give this a test, a full run without doing any kind of debugging because debugging, what it does is allows the test to run slower than normal, right? But we want it to run in real speed because sometimes there may be issues that are unforeseeable. And so when it runs at real speed, we need to be able to handle that issue. But when we're debugging, it's much slower. And those synchronization issues that I'm always telling you guys about can possibly be circumvented, which is not what we want. And by the way, I just saw that this max simultaneous logins for username was reached. So we're not going to be able to log in with this username, which is really annoying because we need to finish our test. So we're going to have to wait a little bit and retry this in 30 minutes after this time's out. And that's exactly what I was telling you guys. Don't use this Selenium test user for your automated testing because many individuals are going to be trying to use it. And then this user is going to be constantly getting blocked. Therefore, what you need to do is create your own test user using, you can actually register right here at this exact page, or you can just go to our QTP tutorial page. And then there's a free sign up right on the landing page. And you can do that there, but I'm going to rerun this test in 30 minutes when this session allows me to get back in.